and it is very difficult. You can't you know, take a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Obviously. So, I mean, I'm the, and I, I think quite rightly, exactly the same. If someone tries to tell me I should believe this or that way, my instinct is completely to withdraw and do exactly the opposite, probably. I think this is actually the best spot for the lighting. So, I mean, I've, I've been at, at this gnawing away at it for, for years. It turned down becoming a priest through the Cathedral and Abbey Church of St Albans in 1996, Saturday the 2nd of March. There I was, all in my fancy tailored suit and all looking very so-so, right? Well, I've gone in an entirely different direction. <coughs> now, I am being true to myself, not to the little church, which is false, whether they like it or not, they are false. Yes, it pains me to say it. And yes, then am I dismissing or judging those people? And the answer is no, I'm not judging them. But if it is false, then it is false. If something is what it is, that's what it is, and it is false. It doesn't mean that it hasn't got the potential for change. But as she is now, the Church of England is well astray. There are, through the centuries, God calls chaps like me to turn up and, and bring the big church back on the rails. I am the true one. I'm not saying I'm perfect, thank you. But because I am the way I am, you make me true, my lord. And if I find something that isn't true, I root it out. Absolutely. If there's a higher something, then I will go to that higher something, whatever it may be. Take up your cross and follow me each day. <coughs> so I'm definitely not saying I'm the most wonderful, perfect person in the world. I'm in the foothills. I'm trying to be a better person. That's the point, as we all should do. And if I see something that is clearly false, then it is false. I meet so many people with oh yes we had backgrounds in churches this and that and the other thing and then they turned off right because it's just hypocrisy it's rubbish so what can I do about it bear Christian witness yes so I am doing and they don't like it I particularly remember in this town called Humansdorp in South Africa and they'd seen me around for a while and I'd been invited in by a Christian family which was lovely and I went to the church and I stood there, dressed as I am. And the priest, all in his tweeds sort of jacket, came out and he said, We know what you are, go away. <laughs> oh, I was so upset. It was so hurtful. But he's right. He did. He knew exactly what I was. I would come and show them up for what they are. And he didn't want to be shown up. That's exactly the point. People like their nice little comfort zone. So do I. We all like our stability and we're conservative with a small c. Human nature is. We like things the same. <laughs> Something changes. Oh, that changed that. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> it's typical. It's human nature. The most difficult person to deal with is oneself. To pull yourself up. In computing terms, you boot a computer when you fire it up. So to pull oneself up by one's own bootstraps, I change oneself. Hence your refining fire, my lord. I'm blessed. You've chosen me and you persist in <laughs> refining me through 